What they were telling the other media through their pet media is... There is something deeply twisted about what's going on over there. Now, Bathtub Boy, who... Um, I, d- I don't think anybody could claim that the Keith Olbermann show on, on NBC is a, a program without a perspective. Uh, the perspective of forever has been... George W. Bush sucks. A pathological presidential liar or an idiot in chief. Nonetheless, <laughs> Bathtub Boy thinks he's in a perfect position uh, to criticize Fox for a perspective. Our third story in the countdown, a second front of the White House attempt to rescue journalism from the hostage situation at Fox and the ghost of William Randolph Hearst. Rescue journalism from the hostage situation at Fox. An unnamed White House source telling Politico, quote, we're doing what we think is important to make sure news is covered as fairly as possible. Offering the acorn story as an example, right. Fox Noise covered it, quote, breathlessly for weeks on end. And then you had a couple of days of breast beating from the Washington Post and the New York Times about whether or not they were fast enough on the acorn story. And it's like, wait a second, guys, let's make sure that we keep perspective on what are the most important stories and what's being driven by a network that has a perspective. Being able to make that point has been important now let me remind you uh, what the white house has said in the past because this isn't the first blush of this uh jim vandehei and mike allen at politico uh, have said privately officials white house officials have talked with relish for months of the potential to isolate the gop as a narrow party of white southern conservatives with little appeal to independent-minded voters in order to make that case, and part of it very recently was um, isolating objectors to the Obama program as racist, as white Southern conservative racists, they ask, are, are Republicans now a, an official Southern party? So this thing in Fox is another way to isolate and quarantine, in Brett Hume's words, uh, any objection that might come up uh, to the Obama agenda. Meantime, White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs said off camera this morning, quote, we render opinion based on some of their coverage and the fairness of their coverage. When asked what he thought the difference was between Fox and news networks, his answer, you and I should watch sometime around nine or five this afternoon. As for how Fox opinion bleeds into its so-called news, you don't have to take the White House's word for it. A non-exhaustive list from the Media Matters website. Media Matters. Oh, for Media Matters, okay. For those of you who don't know, Media Matters is an organization uh, started by, well, Hillary Clinton had And John Podesta and George Soros. Institutions that I help to start and support, like Media Matters. Yeah, well, George Soros, the billionaire uh, left-wing investor who spent millions and millions of his own dollars trying to defeat George Bush twice and finally defeated him when he was no longer running. Uh, Soros uh, funded Media Matters to go out there and yell at conservatives and try to prove that somehow what they're saying isn't true. And that's Bathtub Boy's source. That is his source. That's that's where he goes. What, what was uh, uh, Richard Wolf's other phrase? To conduct his unholy jihad uh, against Fox. Hi, Craig. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, my sense here is the White House reacts viscerally to the Carnival Funhouse stuff that the Becks and the Hannitys and the O'Reillys do. But what they're worried about in terms of its effect on society is the in by the side door method of mainstreaming a dubious story. Explain that. I mean, I went through it cursorily, but explain the process in better terms than I use and why they'd be worried about it. Uh, he's asking Craig Crawford. Now, remember, Acorn isn't a story. So this is a, a, a group lined up to get to conduct the U.S. Census and get hundreds of millions of dollars in federal aid. Van Jones wasn't a story. This is a guy who was put in the White House as a czar without going through Senate confirmation where his background would have come up, brought in by Valerie Jarrett, person closest to the president, turns out to be an avowed communist. Tea parties weren't a story. Reverend Wright was not a story. 
according to these guys. Well, back in the old Monica Lewinsky days, I, I used to call it the, the Baton March of the Bogus, where a, a crazy rumor or story would start in a, you know, a blog or a, a, a gossip rag somewhere mm -hmm. on the internet. Then it would move to uh, English newspapers. Uh, then it would move to a tabloid here. And pretty soon it's on the network news. And that happened over and over and over again. And that's Craig Crawford. He... Uh he works, or used to work for a place called Hotline. Is he still there? In any case, it's one of those political... Um, he's a co-author with uh, Helen Thomas of a new book, so I should tell you all you need to know about Craig. And, w and what he's doing here is is saying, well, this is typical... This is this is the Lewinsky story all over again. He's a good kisser. <laughs> Does anybody mind my asking if the Lewinsky story was not a story? Evid <laughs> evidently, it was not. I know Bathtub Boy didn't think it was because that's how he got named Bathtub Boy. He wouldn't do his show when it was about the Lewinsky story at MSNBC, and I had to come in and do the show for him. Taking a bath. While he sat in the tub. Taking a bath. And argued with the boss that it wasn't a story. Now we have Acorn and all, and these aren't stories either. Why aren't they stories? Because time should be used instead to praise President Obama. However trumped up, and they cover it 400 shows in a row, the real news outfits begin to second-guess themselves. That's another point the White House seems to be making that I don't think is getting the attention seems perhaps it deserves. Be. What happens is the mainstream media gets hammered being attacked for covering up the story. Right. And so then they feel like they have to do something. And in some cases, they will write about how they're not writing about the story and why. Or they'll cover the people who are attacking them. And pretty soon the story's in mainstream media and becomes real. Well, it doesn't become real because the mainstream media writes about it. It becomes real because some acorn worker in five different offices were telling people how to get underage hookers into the country and claim them as dependents on your taxes. That's not a story. I would point out, however, that you know, with the, a lot of uh, what Fox News does, if the attack is that they are a Republican campaign machine, they sure did a lousy job of well, it in the, yeah. in the last okay. election. We have a deeply Democratic Congress, right. a Democratic president, and most of the world worships Barack Obama. Who, starting with the media, starting with the guy you're talking to, Craig. And by the way, whose side are you on? Either Fox controls the world or it doesn't. If it does, how did Obama get elected? I don't think Bathtub Boy liked that point. I do think one thing they're concerned about is this midterm election coming mm -hmm. up, the congressional ah, elections mm. next year, because with such low turnout in midterm elections, mm. these very feisty, even minority yeah. uh, of the voters, uh, the Republicans uh, and conservatives who watch Fox, can have a disproportionate oh. impact. So if, if Fox is allowed to I'll really out. whip them up, it could hurt a lot of congressional races for Democrats on the House and Senate oh, side. Oh, if Fox is allowed. Oh, if John Gibson is allowed to be... There is something deeply twisted about what's going on over there. If he is allowed to be deeply twisted, I mean, who is deeply twisted? A pathological presidential liar or an idiot in chief. I guess I'm going too far back. That probably isn't fair, is it? You, Mr. Bush, are a bald-faced liar. I mean, who, I, you know, twisted? This advice, Mr. Bush, shut the hell up. Anybody said that to Obama? No. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just glad there's somebody helping me do this. Craig CBC <laughs> and CQPolitics.com. Helping you do it indeed. A pathological presidential liar or an idiot in chief. Isn't this outrageous behavior to try to force the other media to back off real stories because the White House says so? I told you, talking just gets you into trouble. He makes the trouble. Are you insinuating I'm a troublemaker? You have the fun. fun. You're with John Gibson. John Gibson. I got troubles.